In today's video, I am going to be breaking down a recent game of David Coadio, and he is one of the top players in Canada for his age, but how he is able to get his layup off, as we see right there, against a lot of different defenders and tight defenders at that. So let's get down, let's check this out, and what you're going to learn today is how you can create your own scoring angle so that you can make your layup unstoppable like David's. Let's get down and let's check out how you can become unstoppable at making layups. Okay, so first off, really quick, I really want to point out the fact that David goes up the middle of the court quite often. He wants to be that outlet option to get that ball down the court as fast as possible. Now, the thing with David is he's a very quick player and he takes very few dribbles to get down court. He does keep his head up, so it does keep the defense honest so that when he does attack the basket, while they are paying attention to him, they are still guarding or at least watching out for David's teammates. Now when David attacks the basket right here, look at the angle that he has on his body. Look at the shoulders. He's getting his shoulder in front of the defender's shoulder and also lower so that he has leverage in case this guy was to try and body him. And then he's able to then stretch out with that right arm so that he's able to keep that ball away from those reaching defender's hands. And that is what allows him to be able to make this specific layup right here. A lot of younger players will make the mistake that they stop right here. This would allow him to get blocked if he was to stop and come to a jump stop because there's two defenders. His ability to go off one leg and to, to continue past the backboard is what allowed him to make this layup. Now here he gets the, uh, the defensive rebound and he's already off running. He is already ahead of all of his teammates and he's in a one-on-one -on -one situation. He needs to be able to try and get down court as fast as possible, but he needs to score as fast as possible as well. Look at how much lower his shoulders are than his defenders. This is what is going to allow him to have the leverage right at the last second. Watch what he does. This is extremely important. The fact that he is now locking his elbow into that defender, getting his left shoulder in front of the right shoulder of that defender so that he has the angle to the basket. As soon as that player is now stuck behind him at this point, he is now absolutely locked with that arm. David is also keeping that ball as far away from his body as he can while still being balanced. That is now allowing him to use his body as a shield from the defender so that this ball doesn't get blocked. The whole goal is to not get blocked. Now, when he goes up for that layup, watch the position he now has on that defender. He was able to successfully get in front and lock that player behind him. And this is what allowed him to be able to go up use his body as a shield so that this def this defender is unable to block his shot. David is also reaching out with his arm to create even more distance between the ball and the defender so that it is pretty well unstoppable and unable to be blocked. I also want to point out the fact that David falls afterwards. No, this was this could have been classified as a foul, yes. However, the idea behind the fall isn't to sell a call or to flop. The idea here is he is so focused on having that ball go in that if he is falling or landing unbalanced as he is, we can see that right here, you are better off just falling and limiting chances of injuries because if he was to land and try his best to try and keep himself up, you are now risking muscle strains in your legs or potentially muscle pulls or ligament pulls trying to keep yourself on your feet. You might as well just fall, know how to fall, slide afterwards, and then you're fine. Get up and keep on going. Now in this play, he's going up against another ranked player, just like himself, and what does he do? Well, he is able to, again, create that shield using his body. He is attacking this man. He's That man is on his heels. He's not defending him very well right now. All this guy's defense is going to be is just to jump straight up and try his best to block the ball while it's in the air. However, what David is able to do is he takes that one running step, that one last step, and then because he's able to use his body to get his body slightly into that defender and then reach out with his arm, this layup again is pretty well 
unstoppable. And yes, he continues past the backboard. He doesn't just stop and start running back. He continues past the backboard. The reason being is to limit injuries, but also gives him a better chance of making that layup right there. And even in situations like this, where he has to essentially do a post-up move, right here, he gets, he catches that ball, he goes left foot, takes that dribble, takes that right step, and while all while doing that, watch what he does with his right shoulder. Even though he's behind number seven, you can see what he basically does. He's now got his body in front of that defender, which allows that defender to be locked behind him, and there's not much he can do to try and block that. In fact, David gets pushed on the back, but still makes that layup. Now, I hope that this video helps you become a better player in basketball. I hope it helps you make more layups. I hope it makes you get blocked less. Whatever the reason is, is that you're watching this video, I hope that it helps you. Hit that like button, subscribe, make sure to go check out Hoop with David on Instagram. That's David's account. And of course, uh, comment down below and say, David, great job. I'll see you guys again in my next video.